What have we got? Um, Dr. Barkwood, I don't know if you're gonna like this one. It's a eight-year-old female. She was um, admitted three days ago with a uh, community acquired pneumonia. So we started her on PO antibiotics. Is she getting better? Yeah. The, so the thing is, um, I uh, I don't know. Does she have a temperature? Uh, yeah. She uh, she she definitely had a temperature, um, uh, and it was uh, it it uh, it just wasn't high. Does she have a cough? Yeah, um, she never had a cough. Does she still have shortness of breath? Well, she always has shortness of breath, so I don't know if it's getting better or worse. And why did we think she had pneumonia in the first place? That's a really good question, sir. Uh, so she had, she had fallen out of her bed, and when we took the x-ray upon presentation, it showed... Showed what? It showed that she had a consolidation in her right lower lobe. So how do we know the treatment plan we're using is working? Less than half of all frail older adults present with symptoms that directly relate to the system in which acute disease has set in. For this group, we use the fifth vital sign, mobility. Mobility is acquired in a certain order, with each milestone building on successful completion of the ones before it. That order of increasing complexity of mobility milestones is maintained throughout life. First, we roll from side to side. Then we roll over, then we sit up, then we stand up, then we walk. When frail older adults get acutely sick, they lose mobility in the opposite order. So check their mobility. What's the patient's baseline mobility? She walked with a four-wheel walker independently and assisted on the stairs. When was she last at baseline? That was five days ago. What was her mobility like the first day she presented to hospital? She had fallen out of bed, could not walk, and needed help sitting up. What's her current mobility? She can sit up independently, but she needs help to transfer to standing, and once standing, she can walk with standby assistance. Therefore, this patient is clinically improving.